Hello guys, how are you doing today? Are you okay? Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So thank you so much guys for, for your punctuality again. Just let me take a little bit of water because my mouth is kind of dry. Okay, so, um, well, as I was saying, thank you so much for your punctuality, for always being here. As I always tell you, that's part of your responsibility, and it's very, very nice to see that you're always here. So today, guys, as usual, we are going to have a brief recap about yesterday's class. So I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to the class that we had yesterday. So what was yesterday's class about? Who can tell me? There is and there, there is are. and there. So how do I use there is? Why do I have to use there is? Or In going to singular. Singular. Um, Object singular. Oh, uh, okay. okay. There person. is is for singular and there are is plural. There are is plural. Can I use um can I make questions with that? Is there uh, a pencil on the desk? Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's perfect. So it, it's um, like I, I can make questions there. Okay, so and are there uh, pens? Uh, are there uh, notebooks on the desk? Okay, that's a good question though. Okay, let me see. I will write a question on the chat. Uh, let me see. And I will need you to give me negative answers to that. Uh, let me see. And I will need you to tell me if that question is correct. No. It's not correct? Why is not? No. Porque falta la A, a book. La A. So it will be like, are there a book? Eh, ahí está hablando de una manera plural, eh, pero se refiere solamente a una cosa, entonces tendría que ser is there. Is there, okay. Let me write that down. Uh, now, is that correct? No, because it has the letter S. Okay, that's good. Now, let me grab uh, something different. And in this one, I will need to give, I will need you to give me an answer to that. And it will be a negative answer. Okay. Let's go. Everyone, I will need to give me, need you to give me a negative answer to that question. Okay. Full answer, please. Respuesta completa. No short answers, okay? No short answers. Complete answers. Denise, okay. Okay, that's good. Very good, thanks so much for that. So Denise is the only one I can see right now. 
Oh, Jose Alberto. I can see Vanessa too. Vanessa, okay, Vanessa, we have us, okay. Okay, yeah, I was gonna tell you that right now because we, we have a situation there because you put- Yes, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem, that's fine. All right, what about the other ones? I cannot see yours still. I just have one, two, three, four, four right now, just four. Denise, Jose Alberto, Vanessa, Gabriela, and Rosa Melida, no more. What about the other ones? Tina Margarita, okay. What about the other ones, guys? We are 12 on the call, and I just have six actually six answers out of 13 people here yes there are desks on the classroom okay no there aren't desks on the well i think the other ones were not here when i when i gave you the instructions probably that's the reason why now I am going to write another sentence on the chat. And what I need you to do is to make that sentence a question, okay? It's okay, Jocelyn. We appreciate the fact that you are on the class, even though you have you're still working. And um, don't worry, it's fine. Um, as long as you're paying attention and they're trying to understand or something, that's perfect. Okay, we understand. I can see no answers yet. Jose Lopez, he's the only one. Okay, let me see. So we're going to have a practice um, today. I hope we have enough time. So, cause you know, one hour sometimes is not enough. Okay, Rina Margarita. Okay, that's good. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I'm so sorry. Okay. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay. All right. So I see that some of you uh, already gave me your answers. Some of you didn't, but that's fine. Okay. So um, I think that we have a clear idea pretty much about the use or how to use there is and there are. I think that is understandable. It's not complicated, actually. So um, it's very good. I, 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 I see that, that you have a clear idea about. So we're going to move on to today's topics because uh, we are planning to have uh, an activity today. So um, let, me, let me see. I'm planning to, to have this activity, so we are going to move fast. Today, we are going to have, uh, let me see, 
we're going to have vocabulary about jobs and occupations, okay? Jobs and occupations, I'm pretty sure that some of you already know how to say some things. And so that's why we're going to move on really fast. We are just going to make the pronunciation of them uh, so you can know how or how do we pronounce that in the English language. Uh, so here we have write this down. How do you guys think that we make the difference in English when we pronunciate this word and this word? Let me listen to Jose Lopez. How do you think or how do you make the difference in pronunciation between this one and this one? Can you try that? The first pronunciation is teacher, teacher, and t-shirt. Okay, that was good. Jose Alberto, what about you? Teacher, t-shirt, and sonido de la S, es el pronunciante. That was, that was magnificent, actually. Sulma. Um, t-shirt and t-shirt. Okay, we, we have something there, but thank you very much. Uh, Saul. Teacher, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Iris, Yvette. Yo digo que la teacher, eh, la T se pronuncia más fuerte. Okay. En cambio, teacher, teacher es como que, es, no sé, ahí veo yo la diferencia. Ok. Eh, teacher y teacher. Ok, let me tell you that the difference actually is the ch and the ch. In this one, when we say teacher, we made the ch. Like in Spanish, like, like like the letter, like the che that we have in Spanish. So we say teacher, and this one we say t-shirt, like sh air going through your teeth. That's the difference. So we have teacher, t-shirt, teacher, t-shirt. That's it. So when you listen to that, you can clearly listen to the difference, okay? Because if you pronounce them both in the same way, I mean, you don't know what you're going to be saying. All right, so we're going to move on. We have uh, teacher, accountant, painter, detective. Rina Margarita, make the pronunciation of the four of them right now, please. Teacher, accountant, Pointer, detective. Okay, once, thank you very much. Once again, teacher, accountant, painter, detective. Vanessa Gabriela, go ahead, please. Teacher, accountant, painter, detective. 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 Okay, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to the next one. We have a hairdresser, plumber, postman, judge. Hairdresser, plumber, postman, judge. Saul, go ahead. Hairdresser, plumber, postman. Judge. Repeat this again, please. This one right here. Postman. 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 Thank you very much. Jose Alberto, do the same thing. Hairdresser, plumber, postman, judge. 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 Okay. Good. Let's move on. Carpenter. Taxi driver, dentist, tailor. Carpenter, taxi driver, 
dentist, Taylor. Sulma, go ahead. Carpenter, taxi driver, dentist, and Taylor. Thank you very much. Let me see Julia Jasenia. Yes, teacher. Carpenter, okay. uh -huh. taxi driver, dentist, Taylor. 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 Very good. Let's move on. Fireman, or we can also call these, we can also call them fire, firefighter. Fighter. Like that. We can say fireman or firefighter. That's going to be the same thing. So you can say the two of them are correct. So you decide fireman, firefighter, doctor, acrobat, and gardener. Iris Yvette, go ahead. Fireman, acrobat, gardener, doctor. Okay, yeah. By the fighter. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I like I I just clicked that automatically. I thought you were listening to me. Don't worry. I'm I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. Don't worry, you guys. So Carla. Can you help me, please? Fireman, acrobat, gardener, doctor. This one? Um, five fire. Okay, very good. Now let's move on to the next part. Let me see. Okay, let me double check here. All right. So we have a pilot, we have the photographer, we have the professor, and we have the policeman. What is the difference between a professor and a teacher? A teacher is someone that is at school, that is in the academies, that is English, uh, teaching English online uh, to, to students, but a professor, is someone that teaches at the university and only at universities, all right? So if you're going to the university and there's someone there who is teaching you English or math or psychology or I don't know, everything, they are professors. They are not teachers, okay? That's the difference. So, once again, pilot, photographer, professor, policeman. Jose Lopez, go ahead. Pilot, photographer, professor, and policeman. Thank you very much. Let me see Denise. Denise Amaya. I think she's not there. So Rosa Melida. Pilot, photographer, professor, 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 uh -huh. policeman, policeman, policeman. Thank you very much. Sophia Stephanie. Okay. A policeman, professor, a policeman. Okay. Let me see. Now let's move on to the next ones. Chef, 
astronaut, pianist, priest, chefs, astronaut, pianist, priest, Jocelyn Stephanie. Chef, astronaut, pianist, and priest. Thank you very much. Let me see, Jose Alberto. Chef, astronaut, pianist, priest. 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 Okay. Now, we have butcher, lumberjack, brick lawyer, astronomist. Butcher, lumberjack, brick lawyer, astronomist. Jose Lopez and Carla then. Butcher, lumberjack, brick layer, and astronomist. Thank you very much. Butcher, lumberjack, brick, brick layer, astronomist. Thank you very much. Now we have hunter, fisherman, football player and monk. This one football player, I'm pretty sure that all uh, boys know what I'm talking about. So hunter, fisherman, football player, monk. Let's see. Fisher monk, no es como monkey. No, 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 no. Monkey, monkey is something completely different. Monkey have the, the E, let me, let me grab that down. When we say monkey is with the K-E-Y, we word it like that way, we say monkey. But when we say monk, it's un monje, monk. Okay, thank you. So now let me see, uh, Julia, once again, Julia Yesenia. Yes, teacher. Can you please? Hunter, uh -huh. fisherman, football player, monk. Okay. Rina Margarita, you're there. Hunter, fisherman, football player, monk. Okay. All right. So as you can see, this is just uh, like um, just vocabulary that probably some of you already know how to say some words. That's why we're going like a little bit fast because you already know how to say some words. So it's not that complicated for you to understand because we also have some images there which uh, kind of let you know what we're talking about, okay? All right, let me see. So we have some, other, some others here uh, which we didn't mention before. So we have here a nurse, we have a bet, a baker, a farmer, a fireman that we previously saw, fisherman, we already saw it, a gardener, a lawyer, a judge, a journalist, a dresser that was awarded at the beginning, a mason, and a mechanic. So, I don't know if you noticed, no sé si todos notaron que antes teníamos aquí un albañil también, and we had here brick lawyer. So in English, we have two ways to say albañil. You can say brick lawyer, or you can say mason, amazing. So those words means the same. They are synonyms, okay? Son synonymous. So that's the reason why you can use either one of them. So if you're going to refer, uh, refer, se van a dirigir to someone that works, you know, like in construction and things like that, you're going, you can say Mason or Brick Lawyer, and both of them are going to be correct, okay? So let me see Saul Gutierrez. I will ask you to repeat them all, all the ones that we have right here, please. A farmer, a fireman, 
a fisherman, a gardener, gardener. a hairdresser, a hairdresser, a journalist, a judge, a lawyer, a mason, a mechanic, a painter, a plumber. Thank you so Norte. much. Oh, okay, leave it there. Thank you. So um, here, guys, we never say low, low year or louder. We say low year, low year, low year. Even though, aunque tenemos una letra I, we, not, we do not pronounce the letter A. So we pronounce like a letter O and we say low year, low year, okay? So let me see, uh, Jose Lopez, you still there? Oh yeah, I can see you're there. Please, can you please make the pronunciation of them all? These are words? Yeah, all of the words. Okay, a farmer, a fireman, a fisherman, gardener, a hairdresser, a journalist, a judge, a lawyer, a mason, a mechanic, a painter, and a plumber. Okay, good. Carla, do the same thing, please. Nurse, a baker, vet, a farmer, a fireman, a fish, fisherman, a gardener, a hairdresser, a uh, journalist, a uh, judge, judge, a lawyer, a mason, a mechanic, me mechanic, mm -hmm. mechanic, a mm -hmm. uh, painter, a uh, plumber. Plumber. Okay, Jocelyn, you have any question? No teacher para repetir la palabra. Oh, go ahead, please. Thank you. Nurse, a baker, mm -hmm. vet, a farmer, a fireman, a fisherman, gardener, hairdresser, journalist, judge, lawyer, mason, mechanic, painter, painter, a plumber. Plumber, very good. These ones we we did not say mechanic or something like that. That uh, the che uh, the, the the that you can see there would say mechanic, like like that mechanic. We never say mechanic, okay? Just for you to know. So when we talk, guys, about professions, when we talk about occupations, because here we have occupations and we have professions. We have both of them. So what is the question? that someone can ask you when that when you're talking and talking and talking and having a conversation with someone, what is the question that someone can ask you and that you can understand that this person wants to know your job, your profession or your occupation? This is the question that someone is going to ask you in a conversation when they want to know about your occupation or your profession. If someone asks you, what do you do? No le está preguntando qué haces en el sentido de que qué está haciendo ahorita. No, le pregunta qué haces de vivir o para vivir, qué hace de profesión o oficio. Do not get confused on that. No hay que confundirnos con what are you doing? Que es diferente. If I ask you what are you doing or what are you doing? Estoy preguntando qué haces, pero ahorita. What are you doing? But if I ask you what do you do? I'm talking about or I want to know your profession or your occupation. If you are a student, and someone asks you, what do you do? You are going to say, I am a student. Or if someone asks you, what do you do? And you, uh, and you work like in a fabric or I know it's companies like, uh, you can say, I'm an employee. 
in a fabric, okay? Or I work in a fabric or something like that. But never ever confuses the question. You don't have to confuse the question. What are you doing with the question, what do you do? Because both of them are different. We use them in different situations and different occasions. Are we clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we can see here some examples like, what does he do? He's a doctor. What does she do? She's a vet. What does your father do? He's a teacher. What does your mother do? She's a chef. Once again, as you can see, the only thing that changes, la única cosa que cambia there, que es el pronombre o el sujeto. You see? I'm using here he, I'm using here she, I'm using here your father, and I'm using here your mother, Zulma. Este, acá si se, se utiliza el das, este, se puede utilizar al final el do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Let me explain you why. Déjame decirte el por qué. In this case, la pregunta en este caso, el das, está actuando como un auxiliar. Y aquí, el do, está actuando como verbo. So that's the reason why. ¿Te fijas? Aquí yo estoy utilizando el auxiliar das. Y aquí, como verbo, do. That's why. Como el verbo hacer. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. So does any one of you have any question? Any question so far? So far, so good. Hasta ahora todo bien? So far, so good? Of course. Yes, Yes, Carla. Or, or who said something? Or Okay, yes. ¿Cómo sería en español? What does your mother do? What does your mother do? ¿Qué hace tu madre o qué hace tu mamá? Pero ese es el problema, que en español, por eso es que no tenemos que pensar en español when we speak English. Porque cuando yo digo, ¿qué, qué hace tu madre? Yo en español, yo entiendo como que, ¿qué hace? O sea, ¿qué está haciendo ahorita? But in English, it's not like that. En inglés, si alguien le pregunta, what does your mother do? Y lo traducimos como, ¿qué hace tu mamá? Uh -huh. Ellos se refieren a el hecho de su profesión o oficio, no literalmente a lo que usted está haciendo. Es que me confundí un poco cuando empezó a dar los ejemplos de, de que no son iguales a las preguntas de ahorita. Sí, porque si yo pregunto, what are you doing? Ahí sí lo, yo les estoy preguntando qué haces de hacer ahorita. O Pero si... porque ocupa el, el doing, entonces eso ya es presente. Ajá, it's, it's something different. Mm -hmm. O por ejemplo, yo, yo pudiese decir, what, uh, what is your mother doing? ¿Qué está haciendo tu mamá? Pero haciendo de hacer. Ya, ya no me estoy refiriendo a profesión ni oficio. So that's why you have to understand. Es por eso que es necesario entender la diferencia entre what do you do and what are you doing? Because they are completely different. Son completamente diferentes. I uh, hope it's clear. But if you, uh, if you still have any question, you can ask the question. No questions? El das, el das solo se usa en ese caso, en esos ejemplos, porque es tercera persona. Pero si fuera you um, or I, um, sería el do. What do you do? Yeah, for example, let me write an example right here. I can say, what do you do? What do you do? ¿Qué haces? 
o en el sentido de profesión o of, 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 office. ¿Podría ser a qué se dedicas? ¿O a qué se dedica tu mamá? ¿O a qué se dedica tu papá? Exactly, exactly. Like that. Exactly like that. Thank you. Okay, so I hope it's, uh, it's clear right now. So, uh, but if it's, it's questions, si alguien todavía tiene preguntas, doubts, comments, or something, you can still ask the questions. Don't worry. Okay, so I think it's clear. Let me just move over here. So we have another example right here. So what does she do? She's a nurse. And we are going to pretty much complete that part. So we are done with that part. So that's pretty much the, the part of the vocabulary that we have seen today. So if there's no questions, guys, we are going to go directly to the breakout rooms. We are going to do this practice here, which is uh, speaking practice. And then we're going to move on to this practice too, which is referring to. And uh, then we're going to, we'll just have two. This one and this one. So what I need you to do right now is just to take uh, a screenshot or something. I don't know if you're using a computer or anything, any of the devices that you're using. Just take a screenshot, let me know when you're done so I can move to number two. And then we're going to move to the breakout rooms. The activity I was telling you okay. at the beginning, if we still have time, we will do it at the very end. But if we do not have enough time, we will move it for tomorrow. De mañana no pasa, sino no nos queda mucho tiempo, okay? All right, so. What I need you to do, because I want everyone to participate. So one person is going to read from the part one till the period, hasta el punto, hasta el primer period. Then person number two is going to read till the second period, hasta el segundo punto. Person number three, period number three. Person number four, period number four, and so on, and so on, and so on. Vanessa. One of my favorite vacation place is Mexico. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. I think that you mis uh, you misunderstood that that part. So I said that we are going to move to the breakout room. So you are going to work with your classmates. I don't know if you if you if you got what I said. Did, did you understand what I said, guys? Yes. La siguiente, teacher, para darle el screen. Ah, okay. Yes, I was saying that we're going to work on these ones, on this right here. So you are going to do that with your classmates in the breakout rooms. Teacher, in the second part, uh, um, what, what they do? What do you have to do? And this yes. part, you are going to select the sentence that you think it is the correct one. The one that you think it is the correct. Okay, so we're going to stop there. We're gonna stop there and we're going to move on quickly to the breaker rooms. And let me see. Okay, there we go. You can join your rooms and I will be checking all of you. Please try to speak English if you can.
screen share. Have the screen share. So this is the this is the laptop in our set of more pasala. Para so para sa lahat. Okay. No sé si alguien más la tiene. Erika. Hola, 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 hola. Ahí me dice ¿Quién va a comenzar? Yo. Ay. Ay. Okay. One of my favorite vacation place is Mexico. I really like. <laughs> okay, job bye. I really like the wind. Siga okay. usted. Okay. They never loud at my bad Spanish. The food is reality good good Mexico City is a um, very, very interesting place to visit. It has some great museum and lots, lot of fascinating, fascinating old buildings. Then hotels are two expressive to study but there are more a fortune options for example you can stay at one of the beach resort like acapulco if you are planning to visit mexico you saw the finally see the majan Temples near Merida. Okay. Um, y también hay otra, ¿verdad? Sí, hay otra. Espérenme, voy a ver si la puedo compartir. Quiero ver. Esa. Yes, lo que sí no entendí aquí es que es lo que teníamos que hacer. ¿Es solo leerlo o qué? Sí, igual yo. Ajá, yo creo que es solo leerlo para practicar. ¿No está el teacher por aquí? Aquí está. Ok, en that one, decir la que sea la correcta. We have to um, the correct one. O la que uh, ustedes piensen que es la correcta. Ok. okay. Thank you, teacher. Pero, pero ¿y aquí qué hay que hacer? Supuestamente aquí. que hay que hay que marcar cuál es la, 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 la que corresponde. Ah, vaya. Eh, si quiere aquí lo, lo podemos marcar. Si es que aquí no miro. <ríe> no miro ah, bien. Ah, vaya, no sé si... Ahorita no. lo voy a mandar al grupo. Sí, por favor. speaks Spanish very well. Spanish? No. Dice... Uh, creo que... Doesn't speak Spanish very well. Very well. He doesn't speak Spanish. Uh -huh. He doesn't speak Spanish well. Well. Porque aquí dice they never loud. My bad Spanish. Oh, speaks 
Spanish very well. En la segunda opción. La segunda. For example, on my favorite vacation, places Mexico. The next. I, re I really so like. This. Sí. I really like the word here because I, it never gets cool. Quiero ver si. Griselda. Griselda, el siguiente. Ahora sí me escucho. Un poquito lejos, un poquito lejos. I love my bad Spanish. The food is really good. Mexico City is a. Oh, no, me pasé. <laughs> the food is really good. Mexico. Oh, this is my part. No. He has some great news. Fascinating. Oh, goodness. The hotels are too expensive to say, but there are more affordable options. For example, you can stay at one on the beach resort like Acapulco. Marcela? You are planning to visit Mexico. You should see the Mayan temples near Menda. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Some likes warm weather. Some doesn't like warm weather at all. Some hate warm water. Some likes cold water. Yeah. Number two, his Spanish is very good. And the COVID uh, is he doesn't speak Spanish very well. Some don't say like what, but it like up. This is area. The number three. Some hate word water. Number three. Three. Okay. okay uh, Entonces sería la última. Mm -hmm. The hotels in Mexico are pretty. O sea, porque sí dice que sería una bonita. Turistas, turistas never come to Mexico, dice. Sobre las plazas. Ya le di. Quiero ver. Very interesting plazas. Oh, Mexico busy. City is very interesting place to visit. Mm -hmm. But there are more affordable options. So, place to me. There aren't a lot of beautiful places in Mexico. There are a lot to see and do in Mexico. Mexico Spanish. 
The food is really good. Mexico, Mexico City is very interesting place to visit. It has some great museums and lots of Okay, we're just going to wait for all of your classmates to come back to the main session so we can. Be sure. Yes. How do you say affordable? Affordable. Affordable. That's the way we say it. Affordable. Yeah, affordable. Thank I was you. checking some of you and I saw that you got confused on part number two. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but I saw that you didn't quite understand part two. So we're going to go to this part and I will, I will like to have some volunteers. If I don't have volunteers, I will ask. Carla, help me with the first part, please. Well, I, I cannot listen to you. Sorry. <laughs> One of my favorite vacation places in Mexico. Thank you, Julia. I really like the weather there because it's never gets cold. Sulma. Oh, um, they never learned at my bad Spanish. Mm, wow, well, it was it was this part. Oh, okay, actually. the people are very nice too. Uh huh. Jose Lopez, so you will have to read this part and the next one too. Jose Lopez. Yeah. Okay. And the food is really good. Mexico City is a very interesting place to visit. Okay, so that word, just let me let me point there to this one. This word that we have here, we say interesting. interesting. Never say interesting or something okay. like that. No, we say interesting. Okay. Interesting. Very good. Now, okay, thanks. Rina Margarita. It. Um, sounds, sounds like great, and so great nonsense in mm -hmm. lots of fascinating world building. Okay. It says it has some great museums and lots of fascinating old buildings. Someone else would like to help Jocelyn. The hotels are too expensive to stay, but there are more affordable options. Affordable, affordable. We say the affordable options. Affordable. Options. Jostling with the Y. Go ahead. For example, you can stay at one of the beach resort like Acapulco. Okay. Um, that was a good pronunciation of this word, actually, because you know, right? What's the other part of that word? So we have to be a little bit careful when we made the pronunciation of this word, because sometimes it gets confused with the other word. I know that you understand what I mean by that, okay? Yes, I understand. Okay, so um, 
Let me see. Let me see. Jose Alberto, you're there. Jose Alberto, I don't, I don't see. Rosa Merida, okay, Rosa Merida, go ahead. If you are planning to visit Mexico, you should definitely see the Mayan temples near Merida. Okay, definitely, definitely, okay? Very good. Um, this is going to sound, esto va a sonar un poco así como que, ay, va, like weird. But in English, we even make, pronunciate the countries different. Because in English, you don't say El Salvador. In English, you say El Salvador. It sounds weird, suena como que, ay, un país, bro. But I mean, that's that's English and we have, we have to get used to that. Tenemos que acostumbrarnos. So we say Mexico, even though we know that, I mean, in Spanish, we say Mexico. So, but in English, we say El Salvador, we say Mexico, we say Guatemala, we say Honduras and things like that. So, I know it it sounds like like weird for us to pronounce those words, but I mean that's the way we have to do it. So this part, the part where everyone was struggling. So what did you understand that we were going to do in this part? ¿Qué entendieron que íbamos a hacer en esta parte? The affirmative. Íbamos a responder sobre el conveniente eh, respecto al párrafo leído anteriormente. Exactly. We were going to select the words or the sentence that was according to this part. So, according to this part, what is the answer for number one? Or what is <laughs> the first The what? Number one. Sounds Number like one. Warm weather. Sounds like warm weather. Why? Because here it says, I really like the weather there because it never gets cold. So he hates cold. So he likes warm weather. So the answer for number one is the first one. What about number two? What is the right answer? He doesn't speak Spanish very well. He doesn't speak Spanish very well. Why? Because he's here. He says, they never laugh at my bad Spanish. So he doesn't speak Spanish very well. Es el amini. What about number three? What is the right answer? Number one. Number one. There's a lot to see in Mexico. Oh. And doing Mexico. Do you all agree? Los demás están de acuerdo. Do you all agree? Yeah. Yes. yes. What, a, what about number four? What is the right answer for number four? Four. 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 Number four. The hotels four. in Mexico four. are pretty four. expensive. Yeah. Here it says hotels are too expensive. Mm -hmm to stay, but there are more affordable options, okay? So apparently guys, the activity I'm telling you since now, tomorrow we will have a practice activity about listening, okay? So be ready for tomorrow because we are going to have that activity, okay? So that's going to be all for today. Do not forget to keep working on the platform. If you have any questions, remember that we have the WhatsApp group there, so you can ask any question you might have. If there's no questions right now, so that will be all for today, guys. I do appreciate the fact that you're here.
So that's gonna be all and see you guys tomorrow at the same time, okay? Have a good night, guys. Oh, thank you, teacher. Good night. Question. Thank you, bye. Good Jose, night. you have a question, no? Good night. Go ahead. Se trabajó la sección 1 y sección 2, Entonces, para mañana tenemos que terminar una sección o dos de las tres a la cuatro. No, for to not necessarily for tomorrow. We will give you until Friday. You will okay. have until Friday to finish to finish section number three. Only three. Okay. Four, no. no, number four, no yet. But if you want to start work number four, you can do it. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Okay, good night. Bye. Good night.